Hi there, I'm Rachel Brady. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a mummy vlogger and I vlog all about family and food and home style and kids stuff and all that jazz. So nice to meet you if you've not met before. Um, I thought I would upload a grocery haul. I haven't done one for a while and today I went to Waitrose. I don't normally shop at Waitrose but they'd sent me some vouchers which were like £23 off if you spend over £125. I knew I had a lot to buy so I thought let's do this and I spent a lot more than that. I really, uh, I'm so surprised how much I bought but we really did need to stock up. We actually didn't do a shop last week. We just, I had like a fr em empty the freezer week and yeah so I bought loads of stuff. Um, I will also show you the meal plan and yeah let's crack on. Here is my meal plan for the week. Today it is Friday so we will actually start on Friday. Uh, and here we are having chicken thighs, which you will see in a minute, um, with like a brown rice, uh, which normally I use microwave ones, or if we haven't got any of those left, I will use like proper brown rice and cook it. And I stir fry like garlic and kale and I mix it together and it's kind of like brown rice with kale, obviously, <laughs> but it sounds like something kids wouldn't eat but they really do like it it's kind of like a fried rice thing and then sweet potato wedges i mean then we just serve that with like a sriracha mayo which is really nice um then tomorrow we're having steak with like a chamula um kind of marinade and that's either going to be done on the barbie or griddled up and we're having it with fajita so we'll do like maybe some roast peppers some like salad and guacamole and cheese and sour cream and stuff like that or just Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. Um, uh, Sunday we're gonna have a barbecue and I've bought some, um, you'll see in a second, some like flavored, more interesting burgers and some like little chorizo sausage rings for those and some burger buns and some sweet corn. Uh, Monday is a bank holiday and we're gonna be out all day at a picnic with some family and so we're gonna come home and just have good old jacket potatoes with like cheese and beans or something. Tuesday, um, I'm gonna do a chicken tray bake. I make those a lot. Again, chicken thighs, probably some little new potatoes that I've got in the shop, some chorizo, and then maybe some like tender stem broccoli or some asparagus for some vegetables. I always mix that up and change it depending on what I've got in at the day. Just to, you just want like a veg vegetable element that the kids will eat. Um, also, sweet corn, corn on the cob is good in those as well. Uh, Wednesday, I'm gonna do a mega quick prawn and fresh pesto. I'm not gonna make the pesto, I've bought a pot of fresh pesto um, spaghetti. Uh, that's really quick and really popular with the kids. And then Thursday, I've got an aubergine bake, which is actually called melanzana parmigiana in the freezer that I made ages ago. I'm gonna get that out of the freezer. And that's like a, a vegetable, bakey type dish that the kids will actually eat, especially if I kind of serve it with some garlic bread or something. Uh, and then next Friday, I've actually got some sea bass fillet. It's not on here, but I'm going some sea bass with like an Asian noodle salad. So I bought some flowers. I've been getting into the habit of buying flowers as a little treat to myself. Uh, I always try and go for the cheaper ones. They're chrysanthemums and they're roses. Um, yeah, I bought some sea bass fillets. They are for next Friday. Uh, you won't have seen those on the meal plan because they are, um, yeah, this ju like just over a week, but I'm gonna put those in the freezer. I'm gonna do them with like an Asian noodle salad. Um, prawns, we're gonna have some prawns for lunch, so I am just gonna need to pass those to Adam in a second, because he needs to crack on and make our lunch. It's getting late. Um, so one of those is for our lunch, and the other one is just gonna be in the fridge for a snack. Uh, seafood sticks, they're really good for a snack for B. Uh, she loves them, Arthur doesn't mind them either. Smoked salmon, we've got two packets. We eat a lot of smoked salmon for breakfast and stuff. B also really likes it. This was on offer and it's the no drain stuff which we do treat ourselves to because it drives Adam mad. So that was on offer. Any kind of big branded stuff, I've gone for the, it because it's on offer. Um, we're having a barbecue on Sunday as you will have seen from the meal plan and I've gone for, instead of kind of going for plain things, and I've got a few reduced things as well, I've gone for these, which are like mesquite um, kind of spiced pork burgers and uh, some lamb and apricot burgers and like chorizo sausage kind of rings and they were all 20% off. Um, we used to just buy like all plain stuff, but I'm kind of just taking a few shortcuts, like I said, where I can. Um, some steak, uh, we are doing steak fajitas on, uh, they were quite expensive, but like the rest of the stuff for the fajitas isn't that expensive. And it's Saturday night, so that's a really good way to make steak go further is to kind of 
make fajitas with it and slice them up. Um, some la uh, some large free range eggs. We always buy free range if not organic. Um, some noodles they offer this for the sea bass salad. Some molten sea salt. We do buy this posh salt and it's really really good. I don't use it if it's just going into a uh, sauce or whatever, I tend to use just table salt, uh, but this is really good. It's a bit like the equivalent is like extra virgin olive oil. It's really nice just to use it on things uh, in its kind of natural state. Um, sorry, I'm out of breath because I'm pregnant. Um, I didn't say that I'll start. I am pregnant with my third child, so that's why I'm out of breath. Um, yes, uh, so granola. I was gonna go for the low sugar granola, but I compared them and it really wasn't that much different. Granola is a treat. I like it and Arthur likes it. Um, we don't have it every day for breakfast or anything. Uh, Weetabix and um, Rice Krispies. The own brand stuff is just as good as the well-known brands. Um, let's go over here. Just ch uh, mature cheddar. We always just have the bog standard mature. I've got some nice cheese for Adam and I to have kind of cheese and crackers one night. Hummus. I always eat loads of hummus. Uh, Greek yogurt, really good over fruit and for breakfast and things like that. I tend not to buy many kids' yogurts because they're so sugary. I do sometimes, but not often. Buttermilk, really good for making pancakes, which we do quite a lot. This is so good. I've bought it a couple of times. It's really good for like um, a treat over like bananas or something for a quick pudding. We've bought own brand salad cream, own brand brown sauce because I don't think you can tell the difference. The essentials range is really good and this parmesan is really good. Um, so let's go on to the meats. I had a proper moral quandary and we only buy free range when we can. They didn't have any free range. So I just thought, well, I've planned to do chicken thighs tonight. So I'm gonna have to get these. So I apologize for that. <laughs> so we're having chicken thighs tonight. We're also having a chicken thigh tray bake later on in the week, as you will have seen. And then one of them, we're either gonna do a lot tonight or shove one in the freezer. Uh, bacon, I, I tend to go uh, with smoked uh, streaky because I think it has loads of flavor. It was two for six pounds, so I'm gonna put one in the freezer. Uh, just a little aside note on the meat. We do buy meat from our butchers very frequently. However, I'm just being a bit lazy and going for the convenient option. Adam keeps telling me off. Um, so Spanish type of ham, or Italian in this case, Arthur really likes that. So that's really good for him when we have kind of scrambled eggs and stuff. Um, and then ham, normal ham for sandwiches. We are going to um, Lime Park for a picnic on Monday. Nice sausages, they were reduced as well. We have like a Saturday brunch, that's for those. I'm gonna use this fresh pesto with some prawns, that was what the prawns were for. Yes, I forgot. Uh, in the prawns and pesto quick spaghetti. Uh, I'll just do some toiletries here. These are the best. If you don't like flossing your teeth with like the normal floss, try these. They're so, so good. I can't cope with normal dental floss and these are brilliant. Um, I've gone for the Bayless and Harding soaps. I'm trying to cut back on plastic and just use bars of soaps, but the kids, will use these more so i'm afraid i've gone back to those uh kids shampoo shampoo for adam some multivitamins i got three packets of those for the kids some i needed some paracetamol i've got that and i needed some that's for the kids obviously and some folic acid for me as i say i'm pregnant uh some chamula that is gonna go on the we have made chamula ourselves loads of times in the past but this is an easy shortcut to go on the steaks and then we're gonna griddle them and they'll be lovely for the fajitas. Some pasta shells, that's for the prawn and pesto pasta. Okay, let's go over here. Um, I've done those, I've done those, whizzing through it. Orange juice, just, yeah, for the fridge. Um, some bread, that bread was on offer, so I went for that brand. This is for the burgers and one for the freezer. The wraps there are for the fajitas. Sweet potatoes, tonight, as you will have seen, we are doing chicken thighs with like brown rice and kale, which actually the kids really like and eat it. And then sweet potato wedges, that's for that. Um, coffee for me, butter, we always have butter and not marge. The chorizo there is for the chicken and chorizo tray bait. Um, these, these vegetables here are for the Asian noodle salad that wasn't actually on the meal plan for next Friday. Baked potatoes, we're doing jacket potatoes on Monday. Salad stuff, just, yeah, salad stuff. <laughs> Mushrooms for the brunch, and Bee really likes them. Asparagus, I might put those into the tray bake. Peppers for the fajitas. 
Um, blueberries and strawberries just for pudding for breakfast, grapes for snacks, coriander for the fajitas, sweet corn, sorry, sweet corn? What's wrong with me? Uh, spring onions and uh, that are for the guacamole and something else. I can't remember. I might put them in the Asian thing for next week. Uh, tomatoes, we go through loads of tomatoes and I like buying the nice ones. The corn is for tomorrow's barbecue, uh, Sunday's barbecue rather. These, uh, I might put those in the tray bake actually. I really like to understand uh, broccoli. These are for the tray bake, just baby potatoes, they're so handy. Uh, avocados for the guacamole and just for breakfast and stuff. Now these corn uh, chicken nuggets are amazing. Obviously it's not real chicken. They're really good for a freezer by standing, you know, just like an emergency tea. Frozen prawns. Oh, that was it. I decided to put those in the prawn pasta. Anyway, now we've got options. We can either put the cooked ones in or the frozen ones. Frozen prawns, raw prawns are actually cheaper and they're better quality. Uh, these are just a bag, a massive bag of crisps for picnics and things. Ice cream, we've gone for the Oh, it's really iced up. Madagascan vanilla and then some chocolate stuff. Uh, this Twinings tea was on offer and I just thought I'm going to treat myself to that and enjoy like a really good cup of tea. A couple of pizzas for the freezer. And I think that is it. You guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching the um, grocery haul. So it came to £200. Uh, and I had a voucher for £23, so it came to 207 However, that did include one eco bag for £3 because there was so much I didn't have enough bags. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and do hit subscribe for lots of family and food content. Um, and the alarm bell, if you are already subscribed, will help you uh, be alert, will mean that you're alerted whenever I upload, which is Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7. That's it guys, bye!